What's going on everyone, Sundowner here, and welcome to Aliens Colonial Marines. We're going to get started off with a pretty familiar face. Corporal Dwayne Hicks, TQ4048215E9. Distress. My unit has suffered immense casualties on LV426 and requests immediate assistance aboard the USS Sulaco. Of the survivors, myself, two human females, one of which is a child, and a damaged synthetic. Consider all Colonial Marines dispatched to LV-426 to be KIA. Repeat, all Marines dispatched to LV-426 were KIA. So yeah, that is Heck from the popular franchise Alien and Aliens. And he's sending a distress beacon, so let's find out what that means. Rise and shine, Marines. This isn't a drill, and you aren't in Kansas anymore. We're not in Kansas anymore. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Kansas. 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 Schoolsville in northern Wisconsin. Kansas. Kansas and Kansas. Something tells me I'm not in Kansas. Can I help you? We are so not in Kansas anymore. All right, okay, okay. On your feet, Marines. For any new recruits, I'm Captain Cruz, and you are my crew on the USS Sephora. We responded to a distress call sent out 17 weeks ago from the USS Sulaco. Rhino 23 went in first and encountered heavy resistance. You are the last of the battalion to get popped out of cryo, so I don't want to hear any bitching because we let you lugheads sleep in late. Get combat ready, and I'll see you in the hangar in 20 mics. Corporal Christopher Winter, 118th Battalion aboard the USS Sephora. Corporal Winter, I'm sending in Rhino 2-1 to reinforce 2-3. How are you feeling, kid? I'm feeling good, Captain. But I'm worried about 2-3. That's good, because I'm sending you in to catch up with Rhino 2-1. We're trying to get the Sulaco flight recorder so we can see who caused this. Sir, what happened in there? We shit the bed. Attention, chicks and dicks of the USS Sephora! As of right this second, Rhino 2-1 and Rhino 2-3 are fighting to get a hold of the situation we're in. We don't leave Marines behind. Over the next two hours, we're going to send a series of dropships over to aid with Kazavak on the USS Sulaco. Sir, the Sulaco was reported last seen over Fury 161. How is it back over this planet? Lieutenant Reed, thanks for the interruption. We don't know how that boat got back here. Right now, we're worried about what's killing our Marines in there. This is a liquid situation. Information to follow as it comes online. Ready up. Good hunting, Marines. Oorah Ash! Oorah! Listen up. What I need right now is information. No heroics, no bullshit. I need you to be my eyes in there. Report back anything you see so I know what I'm up against. Roger that. Tell Rhino 2-1 I'm en route to their location. Alright, let me just get my helmet on, check my gun. It's looking good. Clip looks fine. Is that a magazine? I'm not sure, but cool. Okay. Wait, that's a different gun. Okay, so this game actually has a bit of a leveling system and you can grind XP and you can get bonuses elsewhere. One of the problems with that though is when you start a new game, it maintains your progress in any gun that you have unlocked. So while that's beneficial to multiple playthroughs, it's kind of weird if you're trying to start off with a fresh playthrough. So you have to delete your saves in order to do that. But in the interest of making this even slightly more playable, I'm not going to make the effort to have a fresh save.
I mean, it starts off looking pretty good, and I mean, the assault rifle is quite faithful, and wait until you hear the sound of it. And even some of the- Whoa, okay. Oh, that can't be good. He doesn't- he doesn't have his helmet on, does he? That's just bad form. just happened in there? Raider 6-5, are you in the air yet? Explosive decompression in the Sulaco. This is Raider 6-5. The umbilical is venting Atmo into the black. Looks dicey, sir. Dicey? Raider, I need grown-up words. You have 20 minutes before a total collapse. Shut it down. Where are you heard the lady? Get to the other side and we're shutting it down. Continuing on to the Sulaco. Winter out. This is O'Neill. We've got casualties and several injured over here. I need a corpsman right away for the down Marines from Rhino 2 1. Negative 2 1. That explosion jacked the airlock on our end. We cannot use the umbilical without risking more lives. Sit tight and stabilize our Marines. 2-1, what is the status of 2-3? Winner. It looks like he sent you over into this mess as well. Pull up your motion tracker. Tell me what you see. Got you two here. And I'm reading 2-3 to the south. Beyond the hangar, engineering perhaps. Are they moving? No. Wait. I got an unidentified signal. Something's moving. Damn it. Sephora actual. Sounds like two, three are holding position. Or they're down. So the motion tracker is not all that useful. You're probably not going to find yourself using it a whole lot throughout. Mostly because the pathing of the Xenos and anything else in the game is quite terrible, so it's not as accurate as you might think, considering it's a motion tracker. And even though you can use it to detect their location, it makes beeping sounds anyway when something's close by, so you rarely have to rely on it to find where the Xenos may be. Heroics, kid. Actual out. Now, I will admit before we get into this that I am a far bigger fan of Alien, the first film, than I am of Aliens and any of the films after it. I have seen all of them and I enjoy most of them and, well, here's a reference to Aliens, wherein the Alien Queen ripped the Bishop in half before being sucked out into space. Now, there are, of course, plenty of other references in the game, but most egregious of which are the ones which retcon a lot of things that happened between Aliens and Aliens 3. Now I'll get into those as the LP goes on because dumping them all now in the first video would be pointless. But just so you know, this game takes some pretty big leaps in what is considered actual Aliens lore. And the developers of this game had pretty much free reign to write as much or as little as they wanted and to retcon as much as they wanted as well. So, yay! Should I just leave? That was way too scary for me. No, we'll press on for now. Looks like ejected cryo tubes. Hell of a way to wake up. Thankfully, the fact that the game keeps your progress through playthroughs means that we don't get the annoying tutorial pop-ups for the first hour or so of the game. Usually right now we'd be getting a pop-up maybe every 30 seconds telling us how to press the forward button or melee or do things that are pretty much trivial in any other FPS game. Another annoying aspect to the fact that it maintains your progress is that a lot of pickups that you would find throughout the levels are just plain missing. Now, I don't know if that was just a bug or if that's consistent, but so far I've noticed that some things are just flat out gone. What's wrong with my mouth? Where am I? Where am I? Winner! Grab your torch. Gee, I sure hope something scary doesn't happen. Was that a seagull? Did I just hear a seagull fly overhead? I know, we're fighting seagull morphs. They spit black and white shit at you and they just want to suck out your loaves of bread. Oh yeah, we have a shotgun, the 
game forgot to tell us about that. We also have a pistol and a grenade and... Well, the game did do away with the two weapon limit. I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, right, we're supposed to kill a seagull morph. Well, there you go. Come cut me down! Come on, come on! Sephora Axel, this is Winter. I've located keys from Rhino 2-3. There's some bodies down here, but some are missing. There are one or two Marines missing from Rhino 2-3. They're all dead. Gone. He's gone. Yeah, that bastarding welding tool is gone for good. Get him back to the hangar and the rest of 2-1. Do not engage. This is keys from 2-3, sir. Our mission was to recover the flight data from the Silaka. Son, I gave you that mission and it's over. Now regroup and come. We have to know what caused this. The flight recorder can get us that, with all due respect. Sir, due my respect squad means you shut your goddamn mouth and follow your orders. Actual out. Hell with the orders. The flight recorder is too far from here. Ah, someone's been doing some kinky stuff. Hex has been stranded, so he's turned into a bit of a, a weird one. Are you guys on the way back? No. You gotta buy us ten minutes to grab the flight wreck. Our Marines aren't gonna die for nothing. You've got five to get that recorder and get back here. Keep an eye out for Bella Keys. Urata Ashes Marine. We'll keep an eye out. Thanks, O'Neill. Thanks for doing this. <laughs> Something's down here with us! I won't let him take me again. Contact! Contact! Here we go! Uh, it's just like shooting clay pigeons, or seagulls, would be more biologically appropriate. There's an example of what the pulse rifle sounds like and to be fair they did a pretty good job of it and it's actually pretty fun to use so that's maybe one good thing they've done so far but that's a bit of a peek, I don't want to give them too much credit. O'Neill, flight county is in route. Two mics to you. Affirmative, winner. Just save the high fives for the bedroom. Get your ass back here. There's no way the flight wreck didn't tape the assholes that did this to the Sulaco. If we make it back with this thing, who knows what we'll find on it. So at times the game will actually just pretty much take control right out of your hands and do things for you like executing seagull morphs. Anytime they get too close the game will sometimes automatically melee them away from you because I mean who wants to play their games anymore you know? Shit's getting scary! O'Neill, where I am out of your location in one mic. <laughs> Oh, 
Holy crap, it's a power loader! Surely I can use this to defeat anything that's in my way. I mean, if Ripley can do it, then so can I. For some reason, I'm compelled not to use it. I'll just go on foot instead. Please, wait! Get to the umbilical! You may have noticed now that I've literally stood in this corner for the whole fight, and that's about as trivial as the seagull morphs are in this game. Just thrown at you like any other ambiguous brown skinned man would in any other military shooter, and it's kinda disappointing because the seagull morphs are quite intimidating at times, but I guess not this time. And speaking of which, where the hell are they all coming from? Because as per the end of Aliens 2 and leading on to 3, there was only one alien left with one baby as far as I'm aware, so suddenly there's hundreds of them in endless supply. I don't know what the hell that means, but I'm sure we'll find out. We did it, guys! Rhino team, move, move, move! Twitter, move! We lost the flight, Rick. Keys. Keys had the recorder on him. That was all for nothing. Well, we're not dead. So, you know, there's that. This is Sephora Actual. 2-1, can you read me? What just happened in the umbilical? Actual, I got solid copy. We lost Keys. Pretty sure something exploded from his chest. Is Winter with you? Yes, sir. Any thoughts on the exploding chest issue? All of our Cheyenne-class birds en route to provide Kazavak and ground support. That's almost 80 Marines en route, and we gotta get them somewhere to land. The hangar's out of commission, but we got room in the cargo bays. Understood. We are heading to the cargo bay. 2-1 out. Something's not right. Follow me. Sephora Actual, we're sending back a live feed. There's no way this is Colonial Marine Tech. It's got way you marking, sir. Oh, shit. What? Everything is timestamped after we received the distress signal from, uh, uh, what's his name? Corporal Hicks. Actual, this is 2 1. What do you make of this? Sir, is there someone else on this ship? 
I have Bishop sending a signal to weigh you. We ain't got time to sit around and play Sherlock. Get back to the cargo bay. Both of you. Out. My god, we are so screwed. So far, actual. This is Bella from Rhino 23. Do you read? Loud and clear, 23. What's your status? I woke up gagging on a creature like a spider wrapped around my face. It's dead, sir. I got separated from my squad. Any news from the rest of my guys? Rest of 2-3 is presumed dead. I'm sorry, kid. Remnants of Rondo 2-1 are on their way to the cargo bay. Can you get to the cargo bay, 2-3? Garnett? Keys? I can't even think right now, Actual. I'm not sure how to get there, sir. You're the last of Rhino 23. Do your best. Get back here alive. Actual out. O'Neill, what's wrong? It sounded like Bella. She... <laughs> we had a thing, okay? What kind of thing? Sex thing. Get up. And this is where things begin to get a little bit repetitive as we have to go through multiple levels of the same thing, wave after wave, and kill them all and get to the next door and it's really, really boring. If you want to see me fight waves of enemies and even see me die, then you can continue watching, but if you want to skip to 26 minutes and 30 seconds, I'll forgive you because it's really pretty much the same thing three times over. And I'm not going to commentate over it either because there's nothing to say.
If you're just coming in from skipping the video, then you just miss me posting nudes of Corporal Hicks. No, I'm just kidding, it was actually nudes of the Seagull Morph. Hey, don't blame me, I'm into my own things, I don't judge you, whatever the hell you're talking about. Sulaco Actual, we have arrived in the first cargo bay. We make it to the control room, we can pop the doors and blow this shit out into the blacks! You gotta run this stuff by me before you're speaking crazy! Watch your head, ceiling! Now those are the kind of moments the game should be making where you're backed into a corner and you're reloading your gun frantically and you have to switch and blast them away and that's one of the few times that actually happens and it even wasn't that intense anyway. That's just wishful thinking I guess. So hurry up! Oh shit, in my breakfast. Everybody hang on to something! Be advised, Actual, the winter made me scratch my favorite ship, sir. It's your only ship, Reed. We secured the boat. In minutes, this ship will be flooded with Marines. So let's go find Bella. And with a fade to black and white, we complete the first mission of the game. And I'm really looking forward to the rest of it, and hope you are. In any case, I'll see you all later.